The big story that we're tracking on Vion at Deza, where China's parliament has now officially passed the controversial national security law for Hong Kong ahead of the 23rd anniversary of the city-state's handover to China. That the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress in Beijing rubber-stamped the bill after holding discussions on Monday. The law has far-reaching consequences for Hong Kong. It effectively criminalizes any form of dissent, secession and democratic expression. The pro-democracy voices have called this to be the end of the one country, two systems principle that had governed Hong Kong since 1997. The law has also been approved by the Chinese legislature without consulting Hong Kong's parliament. But the actual contents of the law are yet to be made public, but some of the contentious provisions include countermeasures against foreign interference and the establishment of the national security offices in Hong Kong. The law has been passed just a day ahead of Hong Kong's handover anniversary that is slated for tomorrow. And this move is filled with a bit of irony, as many experts have argued that the new law is in complete violation of the handover agreement between China and Britain. Now, following the bill's ratification, prominent pro-democracy activist Joshua Wong has announced his resignation from the Demo Sisto Party. Now, Joshua Wong was serving as the General Secretary of the Pro-Democracy Party and was planning to contest local elections. Now, Wong's colleagues Nathan Law and Agnes Chav have also resigned from the party. Now, pro-democracy activists are scared of being arrested under the new law, especially since there is no clarity on the extent of punishment that could be...